Please welcome back to the mountain stage, Mr. Joe Pug. Here's his latest album called The Messenger. Joe's been with us one time before. This is his second full length CD. He does have another EP, which I'll talk about in a moment because he made it available to people free. Is it still available? It's still available for free. Well, let's talk about that first. That's unusual, something you've done that most people don't do. When you were relatively unknown, uh, to get yourself known, you put it out there uh, in, in concerts and on your website. You want a CD, a five song CD, just write to me, email me or whatever and I'll get it to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, what it is is people can email my website and tell me how many uh, sample CDs that they want yeah. and uh, they give me their mailing address. I send them however many they want at my own expense. That's so. That's pretty smart, really. It sounds like, oh, well, how can you give away your music? But what it did was introduce you to a lot of people who then became fans and they, and they recruited other fans. I was born into a circus But I ran off to join a home All others said that I was worthless Yet my family died unknown so it gets and so it goes. But, you know, this is just a way to... Introductory yeah, offer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you still have, this is for sale. Your first one is for sale. Yeah. Uh, and you're, obviously, you travel around. What do you do? How many concerts a year now? A lot. A lot. <laughs> so people have plenty of opportunity to, to pay to see you or pay to have your music, but they still have the opportunity to get this uh, CD for free, which is a great idea. You're making your second appearance here. Your first one was after... Uh, the first CD came out in 2008, I think it yes. was. Mm -hmm. uh, you had, not long before that really, dropped out of college and said, I, I really, I'm not doing what I should be doing. Tell us that story. Well, I just, I was studying to be a playwright at the University of North Carolina in, uh, in Chapel Hill. I just was last night to play. Yeah. And uh, I just, it wasn't where I was supposed to be, and I think you can really feel that inside, no matter who you are or what you're doing. And um, it took me a long time to get up the uh, the stones to finally do it, but I finally left, and I moved to Chicago, and uh, that's where I began writing songs and playing music. Why'd you choose Chicago? I had a friend that lived there, and I had visited, and I really liked it a lot. Yeah. And then it worked out. You ended up starting, really launching your career there, yeah. and. Uh, in a clubs, in a club and clubs in Chicago, and then one thing led to the other. How'd you get the record deal, or how'd that all come about? You know, I, I actually made uh, Messenger on my own with money that we made on the road. So this is your own deal? Well, well then Lightning Rod, yeah. the, uh, the record company, they, they came and, and licensed it from me, but it was great. It, it's a different model than it used to be, where you had to wait for the huge check to go in. And, yeah and ran all the studio time. Like, we really did it on a shoestring, but we did it with a lot of heart, and I think it came out well. Was a girl in my hometown They say she wore the sharpest crown I read that you felt different about this one than the first one. Most people do. The first one, you go in, you don't think much about it. You have these songs you've been playing. Yeah. The second one's a little different because Number because one, you have fewer time to, to write songs, but less time to write songs. But the other thing is that you're thinking about making a record. The you've, first one, you're just... <laughs> you've taken a bite of the apple at that yeah, point, right. and you really, you know what's going on. And um, so, you know, it takes a little getting used to. It takes a little just sort of getting over yourself, you know, and just not taking yourself too seriously. I think that's a big part of it. But I hope that I'm past that now. How'd you get the band? That you now, because I know some of the guys are here with you live that played on the record. Yeah, you know the only person uh, we don't travel with a, a drummer anymore because uh, I can't afford it. But yeah. um, the bass player Matt Schusler and the steel player Rocco Labriola both played on Messenger. They're really excellent players. I'm lucky to be with them. Ah, oh, come lately, Diana, and quit what's got you down. Steal from the tallest cap and make your favorite sound. And when there's too much to get rid of, and you get rid of me, speak plainly to me, Diana. There's nothing you must be. I said I don't mind. So what's next for Joe Pugger? The same, man. Just I want to make another record. I want to keep on 
playing shows, I mean, I just really, I enjoy it. Do you got some new songs? Oh yeah, always got new songs. <laughs> do you write all the time? Yeah, I, I can't really do it on the road. I have a very hard time doing so you it. Need but, to, you need that some quiet. Some yeah, time. but when I, it, you know, as soon as I get off the road, after I've had a couple of days to sort of, you know, stop the, you know, the spin out from, you know, being off on the road, uh, yeah. I start writing again. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're, Joe Pug is, uh, I would say, your lyrics are, are pretty great. Thank you. You know, your 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 tunes. I, I like everything about this record, but. Um, you're a person, obviously, very thoughtful, and uh, what goes into the words is uh, something that I was really, I needed to hear, I was happy to hear. I think you may feel the same way. It's good to see Joe again. Messenger is the name of the new CD, and uh, what's your website? Joe Pug Music. JoePugMusic.com. Mm -hmm. You can still get that free CD if you want it. Then you can buy this one. Thanks for coming back, Joe. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Good you are, how hard it is. How good you are. Thank you very much. Thanks to Mountain Stage. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.